Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, hello. My name is Shelby Sherwood and welcome to my beauty channel. So today's video is a first impression and a wire test of the new Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. It looks like this. So if you're interested to see how long it lasts and how good it works on my skin, then just keep on watching. This is what the packaging looks like. It's really cute. It goes from a pink to a white ombre. I think it's just really cute. And I love how there's like a peach symbol right here. And it just tells you everything about the foundation on the side as well. So this is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. This foundation retails for $36. Honestly, that's a really good price for the amount of product that you receive in the foundation because you do get 1.6 ounces when you usually only get one ounce. So it is a little bit cheaper than most foundations, so that's a plus. You're getting a shit ton of product for $36. Holy crap. So I got the shade Nude, so it's the light foundation with the rosy undertones. They really didn't have any cool undertones, so I was like, all right, I'm just going to take a wild guess because I ordered this online, so hopefully it's right. It's a matte finish and it will last 14 hours. It's transfer resistant, oil controlling, and you will never look cakey. This is what the packaging looks like for the actual foundation. It's like a squeezy tube. It's kind of, I don't know, I've never had a foundation like this. Usually they're like glass or in plastic packaging. And then it also does include a pump, which is so nice. I don't know why foundations don't include pumps nowadays, like, it's 2017, let's get it together. So I did not pick up the primer, I think, right? It comes with a primer too, and like, a setting powder and everything like that, but your girl was too broke to try that out, and I wanted to try this foundation out so bad. So I'm just going to use like my regular primers and setting powders. Hopefully you guys don't mind. So I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Primer Water and then the Benefit Professional Primer in my T-Zone. So for the foundation, I'm going to use a sponge on half of my side, half with a sponge and half with a brush just to see the difference. For my sponge, I'm going in with the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge and then for my brush, I'm going in with the Sigma 3D HD Foundation Brush. This is like a kabuki brush and I love this to apply foundations. So that's the color right there. It's a little runny and then let's see what it smells like. Oh, it smells so good. I actually like the smell of peaches, so I don't mind this. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the sponge first. So, <laughs> it didn't really give me any coverage at all. I don't know if you guys can still see my freckles, but there's literally like no coverage at all to the amount that I applied. So I'm gonna apply the same amount on the other side and see how it looks like with a brush. Hopefully it gives a little bit more coverage. It says it's a medium coverage, but like this side right here, this is definitely light. That's not like any coverage at all. You can still see every single freckle, every blemish. Okay, so this is just one layer. So this is the sponge side and then this is the brush side. The brush definitely gave me a little more coverage, not much at all, um, than the sponge side. But this side is looking a little cakey compared to this side. Like this side, I feel like if I did a second layer, it would look really seamless and really just um just nice looking and like healthy. But I feel like on this side, it would just cake up more. So we're going to see if this builds. I definitely need more coverage to actually like this foundation, so I'm going to apply a second layer and see how well it builds.
this is the second layer um, it's still not completely full coverage it's more like medium which it claims but I thought I could build it up to be full without it feeling and looking cakey so this is the side with the sponge and this is the side with the brush <sighs> this side feels really lightweight really nice it feels a little heavy, but it's not like something that I can't bear with all day. This side, the brush side, feels like a hot, cakey mess. It feels heavy. It just looks like gross. It's really emphasizing my texture, especially on this side. So I'm not the biggest fan of the brush side. Like I can see so much texture up here, like on my cheeks. It's already creating a smile line and I haven't even had it on for five minutes. Um, and on my nose, it's not looking too hot. I actually want to zoom you guys in. So this is what it's looking like. Do you see how it just like looks really cakey and just really not flattering? This is the brush side. So, even on my forehead, like, around my eyes and around my nose, it just looks disgusting. But on this side, it's not as bad, but I still feel like it's just, like, not making my skin look any better. <laughs> I mean, I do have texture, but, like, I just feel like right in here, you can see all these tiny little bumps. And I feel like I have foundations that don't really do that. So, hmm... Right now, first impression, not the biggest fan. Just not. It's just like emphasizing my texture. It just feels gross. It feels really heavy. Honestly, like I'm just going to be honest. It feels heavy. And there's so many foundations out in the world now. Like you have to have your foundation feel lightweight in order for me to like it. Because there's so many foundations that I have that just feel like nothing on my skin. And I can wear them all day. And I literally forget I have makeup on. So... That's my personal preference. If you don't mind your foundations feeling heavy, then you probably won't mind this foundation. But for me, not the biggest fan. So for concealer, I'm just going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. Okay, so I'm going to bake my face with the Airspun Loose Powder. While I let my face bake, I'm going to go do my brows and probably just finish the rest of my face. And then I will be back to let you guys know my complete first impression. You don't judge me. Okay guys, so I am back. Um, I couldn't find any jewelry to match the shirt, so I was like, I'm gonna throw on some sunglasses and roll with it. Honestly, my opinion of the foundation changed a little bit. Right now, I think it looks really good. It looks um, kind of like more on the natural side. Right now, it is definitely like a more of a matte finish after I set it and added everything on top. As you can see, it's not really glowy unless it's in these spots where I applied highlight. But right now, I am kind of liking the foundation a lot more than when I first applied it, which uh, that is a good thing. And I think I'm going to do a wear test. I don't know how long it's going to be. Right now, it is 
2.14, so it's a little later in the afternoon, so I might just do like a four hour wear test and just see how it wears for four hours. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think of my skin right now? Like, does it look good or does it not look like, I don't know. I'm kind of like mixed feelings right now. I definitely like applying it with a sponge. I don't think I'll ever apply it with a brush ever again. I just did not like the outcome of the brush. So sponge all the way for me. And I'm kind of liking it right now. I think it looks really pretty and just really more on the natural side. I will see you guys in a few hours. So it is officially 9.02. I am ready to take this makeup off and enjoy my night. So it's been about seven hours that I've had this foundation on. I haven't blotted nothing. I haven't touched up. I've literally just going about my day. So this is what it's looking like. It's really not bad. Um, I'm really not too oily at all. Um, I do have a little bit of oils right here and just on my forehead and right here, but it's nothing major like I usually do. I don't have really bad smile lines. Um, they're peeking through a little bit, but they're not horrible. And so yeah, honestly, I think this foundation would last all night long, like it says. I'm really impressed, honestly. Like, my first opinion, I wasn't impressed at all. I was like, oh, this foundation is horrible. I didn't like how it wasn't full coverage, like, in the beginning, or even medium coverage. It was light coverage, but it looks really natural, really just soft, and it kind of makes my skin look like a, a little airbrushed in a way. I don't know how it did that, but... I just feel like it definitely came together once I applied all the products on top. I definitely am going to be trying this out some more, see if I can like it mixed with foundations, if I just like it alone, but I definitely like this foundation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression slash wear test. I love doing these with new foundations out. They're my fave, I think, to record. I think so. So yeah, before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video.